Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This time we are going to talk about a renowned Colombian artist. First, biography. Omar Rayo, born in Colombia in the department of Valle del Cauca in a town called Roldanillo in 1928 and passed away in 2010 in Palmyra. He was a painter, sculptor and caricaturist. He was part of the old art movement and he has a daughter who is an artist too. He did his first drawing studies by correspondence at the Sierra Academy in Buenos Aires. In 1947, he began his professional career in Cali, working as a cartoonist and illustrator in various magazines. Afterwards, he moved to Bogota and worked as an illustrator in various capital publications. In 1959, thanks to a scholarship, he spent a year in Mexico City in the engraving workshop La Esmeralda, where he met José Luis Cuevas and Francisco Toledo, both famous Mexican artists. In 1960, he received the Guggenheim Scholarship and moved to New York, where he would definitely settle down years later, and where his work will achieve international recognition. Second, style. Most of his paintings are abstract geometry. His style is highlighted for creating optical illusions, true lines, figures, colors, and shadows. He worked primarily employing black, white, red, and yellow. His work is highly influenced by pre-Columbian art. The volumes of his work cause the person who is appreciating his paints to feel that the reliefs are tangible. His compositions feature a series of ribbons that come and go over each other, and disappear and reappear forming patterns that produce striking optical effects. The result is an illusory game of lines without beginning or end, a geometric labyrinth of faint three-dimensionality. Third, Curious Facts In 2012, Google paid tribute to him by creating a doodle celebrating the 84th anniversary of his birth. Omar Rayo was one of the most active Colombian artists of the 20th century. He has participated in more than 2,000 individual and collective exhibitions held in countries such as the USA, Mexico, Puerto Rico, Costa Rica, Cuba, Panama, Ecuador, Venezuela, Peru, Brazil, Chile, Spain, Norway, Germany, France, Poland, Italy, Hungary, Japan, China, and New Zealand. Also, he won national and international awards. When he was living in Colombia, in Bogota, he frequented the Café Automático, where he met with intellectuals and writers such as Leon de Grave. Luis Vidales and Jorge Salamea. In 1953, he had the opportunity to spend his studies in Madrid on a scholarship, but instead of that, he preferred to start a tour in Latin America. During the trip, he made some exhibitions associated with numerous local artists and lived for some time with the indigenous people of the Amazon. The trip would be decisive in his training, the content with pre-Columbian art sparking him an interest in the artistic possibilities of geometry, which will end up defining his work. In addition to a successful career as an artist, he created the Radio Museum in his hometown, which he managed until his death. The gallery has more than 2,000 graphic works by Omar Radio, including cartoons, watercolors, pastels, and more than 2,000 works by artists from Latin America, constituting one of the most important collections in Colombia. Fourth, where to see. If 
you are interested in seeing the artwork of Omar Rayo, these are some of the museums where you can find it. If you live in New York or you are visiting this amazing city, then you can go to the Museum of Modern Art, also to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the New York Public Library. Also in the USA, exactly in Washington DC, you can visit the Smithsonian Institution. In the other side of the world, you will carry in Tokyo, you can visit the Museum of Contemporary Art. And finally, in his home country, in the capital Bogota, you can take a look at the National Museum of Colombia and the Bogota Museum of Modern Art. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments who should be the next artist and subscribe for upcoming videos.